You're rushing. Here we go. Whiplash is a film about power. J.K. Simmons' character Terrence Fletcher controls everything. The music, Miles Teller's character Andrew, the other musicians. But there's one aspect of the film he has absolute power over. The film itself. It's my part. It's my part, and I decide who to lend it to. When we are first introduced to Andrew, he sits at the drum kit, separated from the world. The camera floats down the hall toward Andrew without any cuts. But as the scene progresses and Fletcher enters, the scene jumps from a shot of Andrew to a shot of Fletcher after almost every line of dialogue. And as Fletcher begins directing Andrew and what to play, the cuts happen quicker and quicker as we watch Fletcher clap quicker and quicker. We're not even two minutes into the film and already Fletcher has control of one, the music, two, Andrew, and three, the pace of the film itself. It's only when the camera reverts back to Andrew that we learn Fletcher has left the scene. The famous rushing or dragging scene plays out in a similar way. Andrew plays the drums and the scene cuts normally. But the moment Fletcher stops the music with his hand, the shot cuts to him. The music is diegetic, meaning it is in the world of the film. But something begins to happen as the scene progresses. Listen to the music and note when it stops. Not quite my tempo. It's all good. No worries. Here we go. He is editing the film within the scene. Watch his hands stop everything. Andrew stops playing, the music immediately halts, and the shot cuts to another shot. He has complete control. Dragging just a hair. One, two, Even when he slaps Andrew a little later, the film cuts exactly on his slap. Was I rushing or was I dragging? Mm -hmm. Director Damien Chazelle and editor Tom Cross also use other scenes in the film to highlight Andrew's lack of control in his life. His family thinks his dreams of being a great drummer are a joke. So when we see him at the kitchen table trying to explain his recent success, Chazelle and Cross use this moment to cut away from him and show that no one is paying attention to him. Or when Andrew gets in a car crash on the way to his performance, Chazelle and Cross let the accident play out in one shot instead of cutting around. This strengthens the impact of the moment and further shows Andrew falling apart. But when he is offered one last chance to play for Fletcher, something changes. Not only in Andrew's character, but in the power dynamic of the film. You remember this motion from earlier. Watch what happens when Fletcher does that same motion now. Now, Andrew has the power. He controls one, the music, two, Fletcher, and three, the pace of the film. We need to think of editing as another opportunity to convey the specific motives our characters have. If we use the editing bay to reimagine our stories, maybe we can highlight the theme in a way we didn't expect. Or we can just let our characters edit it themselves. <laughs> <laughs>